Is Peter Lewis here, Professor Peter Lewis of mathematic fame from Cardiff? Peter, I wonder if I could get you to come up here for a minute. I've known Peter for about 25 minutes. <laughs> I was coming in from the airport, and I just want to do this. This is actually for Jeff and Sabrina and this, and this whole wonderful conference that they put on. Come right up through the steps here. I, I'm not as mean as I look. <laughs> and uh, Jeff, could we have a microphone? I, got, I uh, crawled into this uh, cab that was already f sort of filled, and, and I saw this fa beaming face looking at me that I didn't recognize, and he said, you're Dr. Esselstyn? I said, yes. And then he went on to tell me uh, a story, a story that has to do with VegSource and uh, since Peter is a professor and is used to being on his feet, I wonder if you could just take a few minutes and just share with us your, uh, your story, Peter. <laughs> this is from the blue. <laughs> his his, his opportunity to prepare is, is zero, but the spontaneous is something that we really appreciate. Okay. About 15 months ago, um, I thought I was pretty fit. Uh, my sport is mountain biking and I regularly ride with my 35 year old son and I try and keep up with him and he's keen. So I was pretty fit. Then I tried to help him doing some gardening and I felt this pain in my chest. I thought it's muscle pain. Uh, so I dismissed it. Well, it didn't go away and I ended up in hospital in emergency and spent the night in emergency. Anyway, the next day they released me with a bag of pills and um, on the way back to the car park I had to walk up a gentle hill and the pain was so great I had to stop. So I had it fairly bad. I tried a treadmill test in the hospital, I managed four minutes, which is ha less than half the length of the normal test. So I was in a bad shape. Uh, I looked on the internet to see what the prospects were, and they were pretty bad. They talked about improving your chance of survival. They were saying you know, that, that instead of 10%, the best medication that you can get was, would, be, uh, would help you to avoid, to lower your risk of getting a heart attack or dying. I thought, I don't want to face that. I'm healthy, I want to back my normal life back. So I carried on looking on the internet and I came across a paper by, by Dr. Esselstyn. And what he said was, I can, read, I can eliminate your chances of a heart attack. And he said that, and you know the case very well, that um, he'd had this study of 18 people, then previously they'd had 14, collectively had 49 cardiac events, and the 12 years after they followed his diet, they had zero. I thought, that's the number I want, zero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a 5% risk, because if you're one of the 5%, it's 100% for you, right? I want zero. So immediately, I, from that, I took a decision, I read the paper, and I said, right, I am going to follow his recommendation. And I went immediately onto a plant-based diet. I calculated my um, fat content, and it was something like 7 or 8% or less. So I got my fat content right down, and I stuck on that diet. Right, now I'm, I've got a research background. So I thought, I want to measure my improvement. So I had a standard bike route that climbed up to 700 feet from my house, up to 700 feet, a couple of miles. And the first part of that is fairly gentle. In, immediately I, I, I'd started this thing, I did the test, and I had to stop seven times from pain induced this first little bit. Then as the weeks went by, the next, it was 
six times, then five, then four, then three, two, one, zero. I managed to do the whole of the bottom section with no pain, with pain that was manageable. So I thought, all right, I'll go to the next section. And this was when you went steep up through the woods, rough track, tough. So I had to stop three or four times going up the steep because I was obviously much better. Then that went down. And I started to be able to ride the whole of the length. So I'm climbing quite a lot of, with no stops. So I started dropping my medication. I stopped the Nicaranda, the vasodilation. And gradually, as the weeks went by, within six months, I'd virtually eliminated my angina. I was able to ride my, ride, my bike trip um, without stopping. And I was dropping my medication. Now, 15 months later, I take no medication. Right. I take no medication. And it's... And when I, said, I saw Dr. Esselstyn in this taxi, I said, I'm here because of you. Because I want it so hard. If you're, if you're doing this and you believe so passionately, you say, I want to help other people to experience the benefits that I've had. 